82 was my start. I got into it because kids that moved in my neighborhood from the Bronx, I befriended those dudes. They were like cool dudes. And every summer they would go back home to see their families that still lived in New York. And so they would come back home with like Polaroids and stuff of graffiti art. And that just blew my mind. I was like, this is what's up. And so at 11 years old, that's a big deal. You know, being a kid and doing it, and then as you grow through your teenage years and, and being something that you are, now I'm like 45 and, you know, doing it now on a constant basis. And, you know, my name is Fell 3000 Feet, and I'm from Detroit. So when I did the letters uh, for Dad, um, it's kind of a deep process. The, the, the people that work in that area wanted to rebuild that area, and if you were ever in the Lincoln Art Park, and you're an amazing place, and there's a lot of aspiring artists, but a lot of legends go there. We're there a few years back, before 2012, the area was riddled with trash. You know, we want to make it productive. Um, we want to like bring people into the area, and you know, just like start getting people motivated to do something about this neighborhood. People are doing stuff downtown, but let's do it out here too. Let's make it happen here. And so I was like, well, what do you want me to do? They were like, we want you to do something, just do a mural. They didn't care what I did. So I showed them what I was gonna do and it was this letter to my father who passed away. And um, I'd been really reeling over, over the loss of my dad. He was a very wise dude and he taught me everything I know about people and how to read people and about life and, and about a message. You know, he was an old school cat. He come from the old country. He was from Greece and he spoke 18 different languages. The guy was a G. So in my life, he was, he was, you know, he was, he was a titan. When I lost him, I lost a very big piece of myself. And um, I told them, I said, well, I'm gonna do a letter to my dad. I want it to be a, I want it to be like a little kid throwing a paper airplane and I want the airplane to float through the city and I want it to open up and then there'd be this very personal message to my father. This is personal to me. And when people read it, they're gonna start to understand that this place has emotion and then they'll tie that emotion to this area. And instead of throwing the trash in the ground, they're gonna start picking it up. I said, watch. And, and they did, because I wanted to associate a feeling with the neighborhood and be a part of a solution, which has been my platform for the last 15 years in Detroit. And so on the last few days, I had my son come out and he worked on the piece with me. I remember standing back and looking at him, watching him paint. And he's up on a ladder and he's writing his name and he's doing whatever, you know. And seeing him and seeing three generations of a uh, of, of person in my family doing something and being out there really kind of touched and moved me. It has been, it has been a passion and the only thing that is better than that is the joy that comes from being with my family. If I'm with my, my wife and my children, um, that to me uh, will take an uh, easy place, like, like writing and painting and doing graffiti and shit is a, is a, is a close second to sitting there watching my two-year-old uh, badger my 18-year-old. Yeah, I like that. That's a good time. That one piece was reflective of a father's love for a child and a father's love for another child showing love for a father past. 